starts to come into focus. I love you too. And because I love you so much, I'm going to tell you this. I want every single person in here, no matter what star rank you are, no matter whether this is the first summit that you've ever come to, or maybe it's the 10th summit that you've come to, I want every single one of us at this moment to go to the human level. Let's level ourselves off and balance who we are and understand that the common denominator that we are all going through at this moment is the journey. We all had a start to the journey. I'm not talking about birth. I'm talking about the moment that you can actually reflect upon the moment that you can actually start to believe. To believe that the life you are living at this moment is real, it's true, it's here, and it's live. So the way we're going to do that is I want you to close your eyes, don't really close your eyes, but almost close your eyes and make pretend that you are listening to the soundtrack of your life. And the soundtrack of your life is the words that you speak, and the words, and more importantly, the words that you have spoken. Can you listen to the soundtrack of your life and can you believe what you have said? Can you believe to understand where you want to go? If I focus and go back and listen to the soundtrack of my life and it's not always words that are spoken, it's what's going on in your head. If you that, I mean, if you do that, things will be great. Here's the soundtrack of my life. Because at some point when you listen to the soundtrack of your life, you start to hit a snag and you start to say, that's not actually true. Like I said that and I thought that, but that's not actually true. I've made it no secret that I was molested as a kid sexually abused. I've made it no secret. And I've always wondered why it was so easy for me to talk about. And the reason why is because the molestation wasn't the thing that hurt me the most. The thing that hurt me the most was that I had to admit to myself that I enjoyed it. At two o'clock in the morning, when a member of my family would come into my room and touch me, I had to say, I enjoy this. And it didn't stop there. Where it stopped, or where it got worse, when I had to continue to have the conversation with myself, was after it did stop, I did everything in my power to try to make it happen. I would stand upstairs in my room, in my underwear, with my back face to the door, so he could see, why don't you want me anymore, what was going on in my head. I had to go back into the soundtrack of my mind and say, what is the pain point? What do I have to accept before I can move on? And let me tell you, while most people had their heart broken at the age of 14 or 16 because of a boy, I had my heart broken when the person who sexually abused me didn't want me anymore. And when I realized that, I was able to start to realize my truth. That was the truth. That's the conversation that as I'm talking, as I'm going, I'm, I'm leaving out situations that I need to reflect to reflect on. So what is your truth? What is your truth? What is the conversation that you are having in your head? Are you telling the truth? But like, are you really telling the truth? Like the life that you are living and the things that you are telling your customers, like, is it real? Do you want them to believe it? Actually, the real question is, do you believe it yourself? Because when you start to believe it yourself, that's when you can start to move on. And speaking of moving, 
Most of the times in our life, we move forward. I was a 400 meter hurdle, intermediate hurdler, and I'm telling you, it was the hardest race because I had 10 barriers in my way to get to the end. But as I'm going forward, I can see, I can see where these barriers are. I know how many steps I have to take between these hurdles, so I know when to lift and I need to go. The other thing I'm using is peripheral vision, right? When you can see and you can use peripheral vision, the most amazing thing happens, you're like, okay, I can see, I can focus, I can go, I can get this. But what happens if you can't see and you're about to fall? Would you fall? <coughs> Would you say cheers to the fall? Because at some point in our life, and I believe that at most points in our life, your strength comes from the struggle. So what if I had to run that race and move backwards? The thing that's gonna get me and push me forward is really understanding my truth, knowing where I came from, knowing that I actually believe what I've done, knowing that I can actually connect to where I came from. Now, let me tell you all something. I'm like, do you really know where you came from? No, 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 like, do you really know where you came from? And I ain't talking about Jersey, like, if you're from Jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't talking about that. Like, do you really know where you came from? Because if you know where you came from, then it's going to be much easier for you to know where you're going. And that truth that you learned in your soundtrack is going to help you move backwards. And when you're moving backwards, you'll be able to learn that if you get ready, to go fall again. There's gonna be someone there to catch you. Oh my goodness. There's gonna be someone there to catch you. Oh my God, this is like the most amazing person ever because all you have to keep moving. All you have to do is keep moving. All you have to do is keep believing. Just keep believing. Because if you believe where you came from, then you can trust where you're going. And the person that's going to pick you up and catch you when you fall is the same person that's going to lead the way. And that is you. You have it. You can own it. I am so serious about this. And the only reason why I'm so serious about this is because I had times where I didn't really know my truth, and there were times where I didn't really trust who I am. But it doesn't stop there. There's only t two T's, well one just showed up, there's only two T's, but there's a such thing called Sean T's three T's. <laughs> and I ain't talking about so sucking tight. <laughs> Even though, mom. <laughs> oh my God, so wait. So do you guys like, do you guys watch Netflix, everybody Netflix? Have you, have you seen the show Black Mirror? Y'all are sleeping, like you gotta do more Netflix and chilling, yo, like come on. <laughs> so wait, so check this out. So this show called Black Mirror is amazing. Basically, there's one episode, I'm gonna tell you what it is, but you should go watch it. Basically, they basically, uh, the humans can cut like a hole back here into your brain and they can take this little microchip and put it into your head and when they put this thing into your head, guess what it does? You can rewind your life. Like you can literally rewind your life and go like relive what was happening. Okay, keep that in mind for a second. Like if you can actually relive what was happening. All right, hold that to the side because I'm gonna come back to that. Have you heard of the term like, you know, don't put stones in glass houses? You know what I'm saying? Like what if you lived in a glass house? Like, if you live in a glass house, like, when you wake up and you go brush your teeth, and I sleep naked, right? <laughs> and then so... Oh, we ain't going there, we ain't going there. But I sleep naked, and like, so I'm like, I'm around, like, I'm doing all this stuff, like, I'm like, you know, I'm living my life, boom, I'm like, living my life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, whatever. I say, you know, you know, I worked out today, you know, like, I did all this stuff. 
But the question is, if you're living in this glass house and it can be seen inside, is everything that you're doing on the inside, are you really stating that on the outside? Because what if no one else can see inside that glass house? Only you can see inside that glass house. Would you watch? Would you watch yourself back? Like, again, it's the same thing you're telling people, the same thing that's happening. Let's go back to this microchip, right? So we're talking about this microchip. Girl. <laughs> so in this show, this guy, like, is, he thinks his wife is cheating on him. He's like, yo, so you had this guy. And she's like, I'm only known him for a week. Well, what happens with this microchip is he's like, okay, cool. Put it up on the TV. She's like, well, you know, like, I've known him for six months. <laughs> like, okay. So how many times did you sleep with him? Well, you know, we only slept once or whatever. Put it up on the TV. <laughs> right? Put it up on the TV. When did he come over? He came over that time when you went away. Well, that time I went away is the same amount of time from when you were pregnant, you had the baby nine months later. Did you guys use a condom? Yes, I absolutely used the condom. Put it on the TV. <laughs> what if I asked you to put it on the TV? Would you have enough transparency in your life to put it on the TV? Like when you're saying, when you tell homegirl or homeboy, you're like, yo, did you work out today? You're like, yeah, I worked out. I did 25, y'all were in. Put it on the TV. <laughs> Put it on the TV. <laughs> listen, when you have truth, like when you can like listen to the soundtrack of your life, you can really trust who you are. And if you trust who you are, you will have transparency because really at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who joins your team because all of you are different. What matters is if you have truth, trust, and you're transparent. That's what matters. That's what matters. And listen, it is so tough. Like it really is hard to be 100% authentic to who you are. Because for like the zero percent of you who are perfect, congratulations. <laughs> I mean, I'm really so happy for you. <laughs> so listen, don't try to be perfect. Embrace the vulnerability, because I'm telling you, vulnerability is like a spring to life. People will connect more with your vulnerability than your perfection. Because perfection is temporary and change is constant. You're constantly changing. You will not stop moving. Your journey will not stop ending until the day that you die. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do now? Where are you going to go? How honest are you going to be? Will you go back and listen to the soundtrack and listen intently so that you can say, there's a snag. Let me find out what the real truth is. Do you really trust yourself? No, no, like, do you really trust yourself? Like, you might be a leader, but do you really trust yourself? Because 100,000 people trusting you is amazing, but it's nothing if you don't trust yourself. It is, you still feel alone. Be transparent, and when you become transparent, you will tilt, tuck, and tighten your way to a mental rocking body that's gonna help you dig deeper so that you will understand that the work doesn't begin until you get tired. And when you know that, you will be able to focus and keep nailing it all the way to the point where you max out. And that will be the end of exercise for your body and the beginning of exercise.